Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to another exciting and everything and amazing propaganda cast with me, your host, Imperial Dane. The one, the only master of propaganda. Off here to. Oh, here was right defender of the father, of course. Off here to, to be two on else outskirts. The North is Camus. Part Matt, part French philosopher, part Moose. Camus. Fighting here for the British Army in the Commonwealth here with the 11th Armored Division, backed up by elements of the Americans. Third. Armoured Division here with Airborne, Urban Assault and Infantry Company. An infantry of oh, this is a bit weird. The American base is coloured like the British one, it seems. Anyways, forming up here with the Combined Armoured Task Force versus Tomcat with Grand Offensive and Song of Single Doja here in the south, forming up with the Germans, 2nd Panzer Division. We got Grand Offensive with Panzer Smoke Bombs, Infantry Stromgewehrs, Panzer Commanders, Tiger Tanks. Specific command tigers, we got G forty threes and light tactical movement, relief infantry, tiger tanks as well, that's really close air support, and we got mortar teams, assault sections, M ten Achilles, M five half tracks, and strafing support here first engaged up north between the Germans and the British in the south, not much there. And as always a big hearty thanks to my Patreon support without them the support, the proper kind of cast would not be possible. Big thanks to all those. Other people can join the ranks for Patreon Patreon or they can consider donating my PayPal. Links in the description and find you see the commenting, liking, saying, subscribing, you know, helps out the channel as well. So anyways, we're up to the races here. Pioneers for the section here by the northern points. Each source north center. Camus here with a very early mortar. Some players, if they do go for landing, sort of like to go for an early mortar in part because it's just something they immediately call in to begin grabbing points. And it's actually, you know, relatively cheap at 230 manpower. But plenty of assault section for Camus and the British Empire in the center there. The Allies converging here on the Indy 42. Sadly, Song of Single Dose Machine Crew they was caught in a really bad spot and will have to lightly fully retreat here unless something can draw the attention of the British aligned machines that are up here. German troops responding here towards the de unfolding potential disaster in the center here. In the south there so far, Tomcat I think is starting to catch on to something's going on north center rather than the south where the Americans so far have not done anything. Triple R support there for Vic. Pioneers right here with the assault section and the sections. Sten guns and Lee Enfield rifles galore. Tearing into their poor Jürgen. Storm Pioneer Captain Rafa here. Try almost done there for... Tomcat, Ralph got flanking in there perhaps. Up north there, the British continue in their excellent advance here. Sandbags up there. Northern Point, they're being seized for the crew. Gonna need to run in the center here. Stuart Puny holding up. Back a base hit, enforcing healing. Actually, not healing. There's no medic bunkers, or medic kits. And we got another assault section here for Camus. Camus, by the way, one of those players who really likes Len Lee's assault, as it is a, well, obviously quite solid command, in particular in the 2v2 environment. It can be quite potent in the right hands. Oh wait, got plenty of assault sections out there, got mortars as well, of course just fits like hand in glove if you're sort of a more aggressively temperamented player. A bit like how I really like mechanized assault as the Wehrmacht. Oh, sadly, my assault gun is with the assault gun is the Wehrmacht do not get Sturmgewehr upgrades. Anyways, assault's about to flank up here, Cook Cow's problems here is again they are quite potent with their Sten guns. Caught the here but even for two song with single doors here, saw through Camus' schemes. I was ready for this. Punch with a wiped out. Quite a blow here to Tomcat in the early game. A full wipe there is definitely going to leave a mark there. Got more troops around here as everything's converting in the far west. So we got Tomcat still making progress there. And we got another mortar for Camus. There we go. A wipe though on Vic to make up for the loss there. The punch with squad, I suppose. But three assault section two mortars is definitely not a build i'd expect to see then again there has been an increase actually as of late of british players going for double mortars because two mortars just bombarding the same target can actually score you some pretty quick wipes i've seen so that might be in fact what camus there is angling for battle head from the car point but the british are already diving through here like a bunch of madmen hunting for the last you know caddy of tea North here we got the punishment force got Panzer gonna do there for song of single douche. Thumbs up. For some mighty Panzer gonna be in fact looks like he might even rush to head for that. Tomcat there, three Panzer for the escorts and a storm pioneer squad. Being routed here by the rough squads here so far. The Allies in a pretty strong position and certainly Camus's very bold opening here gives him a bit of an edge there, unless he can like the Germans can catch him off guard or he makes a magnificent mistake. Smoke being the post well there to Nick. 
negate the machine gun as much as possible. Thumbs up there to Camus. A very solid tactical push there. Machine gun taking a few hits here from Camus's mortars. Meanwhile, though, Song of Single Door is on the job here with the gun that he is going for the mortar. Punch gun is also arriving there with a the Sturm Gewehr 44. Not there, mortars being caught here, but the Gunnadis could get a wipe here. That's only quite good here for the Germans to not just kill the mortar, but grab it for Deutschland. There we go. And look at this, Jürgen. I got this kleines amerikanische Granatenwerfer. It's roughly the size of it all. Yeah, but it just looks so small, doesn't it? No, not really. I think you're just trying to make fun of the American equipment. Punches are pushing forward against the assault section there. All the way. Pretty good steal there for Song of Single Doors. You're obviously getting a multi here. Besides negating it for his opponent, means he has some artillery support here in the early game. Up north here, they've got the section pushed back. Enemy so the Germans got next to nothing on the map here. The Allies are soon going to control of both viewpoints. That will be a significant edge for the Allies, in particular the British, who can take the fastest. We've got medics here, though, for Camus. As for Vic, we don't know what's got going there. In fact, he's rushing out the anti aircraft tariff track. Well, he could have rushed it out first with the captain supervising, but I guess he wasn't too keen on that. So there you go, and aircraft tough track out. Up north here, Punt gonna be backed up. They're gonna be squad going for the car point here. Pack hard to Vic. As for Tomcat, we got the Kevin Alpha and Song of Single Duel Shahi. We'll have to see goes for next. We've got a bunker up in his base. No like to make a nice company. But he could soon, I suppose, upgrade his pants gonna be if that is what he wants with the D43. Yes, in fact he can do that just now. Few points remain very much firmly in Allied hands, but the Germans at least managed to deny access to one of them in terms of logistics. Punch with there just quickly titaning out of there very sensibly. But skirmishing here, Riesens versus the G43 Panzer for Slida. More troops moving in there for Tom Cat. Pack out almost under for Vic. And we got the Toms being handed out to the assault section, augmenting their firepower. And basically, for all intents and purposes, giving them a pair of stronger assault rifles. Because in game, Relic has decided that the Thompson basically needs to perform like a better assault rifle. Yeah, I, I don't know why either. But that's basically the case. So it basically means that these assault troops can basically get an assault rifle upgrade on top of the submachine guns. Fun fact there. In the actual war, obviously the Thompson wasn't quite that good. But that's another story. Also, as a fun side note, the Sten gun was actually surprisingly popular with German troops. It actually picked it up in some cases. The entire fight to make units would actually have Sten guns instead of like you know whatever they were supposed to have there. So, fun fact. Didn't hurt because the Sten can actually use German ammunition and German magazines, or could be used them. So that made it very easy for the Germans to, like, you know, just pick up spares. Anyways, mod firing down here, back and forth between these American mortars, neither in service of the Americans. Meanwhile, we can see the Camus swinging hard into the flank here of Tomcat, sending an opportunity here. Camus goes for, and I see that is an incredibly solid tactical read here by Camus. Like, instead of bashing the head into, like, a Start German wall. He finds like in a weak spot here in Tomcat's lines and just swings in hard for the British Empire. Pack forward there for song a single doge. He punts out the Colonel Fiatic. Machine gun bunker on the calf point here. Right on the center, more firing up north here. A lot of action there. And we could see some Germans find pushing from northern field points. The Germans do need to like stabilize their fuel income here versus the Allies. Again, this could get very uncomfortable for the Germans very quickly. In fact, we already at the eight minute mark. Camus is already taking up and will possibly like push out like a center before the 10 minute mark. Really just showing off how strong here Camus is racing off here for the British Empire. And again, highlighting that the British really can pull off some very aggressive strategies with the right sort of mindset and, you know, map. So, Camus here definitely going in hard here. Truckman force there for Tomcat. Need to pull that one back. Apart me suspect that's a rally point he didn't pay attention to. Bingo, that can happen. So yeah, the truck's gonna move up there because again, he'd set a rally point for some other units and he just completely blacked out on the truck there. The truck's just like, we were told to go out here, yeah. I can't help but feel we got some wrong orders. Y yeah, I, I think something's coming over. Get out of here, source Americans. Most of their caught, and we got a half to cut for Camus rushing out of the M5. Bit surprising considering the timing. Guess he doesn't want to like rush out the centaur, which honestly, I don't think they really power, but also he wants to mechanize his infantry. We'll have to see, of course, what exactly Camus' scheme here is for his M5 half track. 
Southie pumping seized by the Panzer for Zaliga. Overall, the Americans operate, I think, a total of three major half track types. You have the M3, the M5, and the M7. The M5 was primarily used for the lease, while the Americans primarily kept the M3 and the M7 half track to themselves. So, fun fact there. South Germans made good progress there for Tomcat again. Schwer Panther quarters up there. We got Vic here with Urban Assault featuring Urban Assault equipment, Sherman Assault kits, Rangers. Cover to cover and the M4 Sherman Calliope. So, yeah. Looks like no court mount. Looks like he's going to use it for mechanized infantry plays. Not bad at all. Something that can get overlooked over the M5 half trip. Any half in general is like they're quite good at supporting infantry advances or even defenses in the right hands. So, thumbs up there to Camus. Always nice to see some mechanized infantry play of some sort. Sap is here for Camus. The South Nemo Tomcat establishing a defense position around this building. Of course, the American artillery and anti aircraft traffic attack could make this a bit of a tough long term task. Meanwhile, we got some song single door. She's trying to push northwards, but also keep the center out of Allied hands. And so far, he's found himself slightly troubled by this task. In part because he probably should receive some teammate from his assistance from his teammate towards the center, but that is currently not forthcoming. Oops, I didn't hear the Tomcat. That'll definitely add something with a bit more punch. Whatever she's going to equip them with the Infantry Storm Gewehr. Song here of single doors, but it's flooding a lot of manpower, I just realized. Hasn't taken up either. I do think some more infantry could be a good idea, or a machine gun more. We'll have to see in there. Go mechanized infantry from Camus and the 11th Armored Division. Tally ho, chaps! Tally ho! Right, you lads, pop out. Oh, come on! I don't want to walk. No one others does, but you'll have to walk in there. Go great wipe down the pentagon to see. Good mechanized push here. That said, I think he overextended here too far. Not enough support to really, I think, um, justify this push here. Could cost him the half check and the section on top of that. Half check, of course, done. Section almost wiped as well there. If he does get the wipe, that's going to be quite punishing there for Camus. And, but also, I think a good punish there than just overextending. I mean, obviously, if you can pull ahead. The mechanism infantry should, but I think the timing and also the direction I think was a bit um, awkward. So that was a bit of waste. Meanwhile, though, Tomcat here turns the tables with a great advance up north here, piercing through the lines, exploiting Camus there, O extension. At the same time, Vic there just doesn't quite enough force to hold back either. We got range of the Thompsons away at least. We got grenades being unleashed here. Smoke that is to allow the assault troops closing in here on Tomcat's forces. Song a single door ship moving in as well here to further reinforce this bridge hit of Teutonic might. It's a bit of a mess here to the smoke. They can't quite see where the allies are. Now you find the gun at ESC. All of a sudden being caught a bad spot here. MD Vickers machine in there. Completely caused the collapse of the Germans, which is ultimately milling about here with no clear plan and are now being hit by a sizable allied counterattack. MD4 choosing up here, but we got the Rangers. They're boosted by the captain, forcing the machine to retreat here. A fierce and massive retreat here from the Germans. Good lord. Fuel catch on the car point here. Tech on the way there, starting to suspect he might be planning something else. We've got more Pentagon news on the way, finally. Thumbs up. The fuel cache there has me suspecting he might be planning a tier 3 move and a Tiger tank. As for Tomcat, we'll have to see if he's planning next, but for now I imagine they're both planning a lot of healing. And reinforcements as the troops took a hell of a beating here from the Allies. <laughs> After Ralph's calling about me. So Palmer Cop there for Song of Single Doge. And there we go, we got an M10 Achilles. Self-propelled anti-tank near for Camus. Now, the British did not operate doctrine with the concept of tank destroyer. They called them self-propelled anti-tank guns. I'll refer to them as that. But anyways, and going for a lot of M10s here, which is great if your opponent has tanks. But when your opponent doesn't have tanks, they kind of fall a bit short here, admittedly. So... Well, it's certainly not a bad idea, like, again, the gyms were hit, had a lot of armor out. I think right now for Camus, he would have, think, been better off for the Centaur or Cromwell's, honestly, rather than a bunch of M10s. But that's just my personal opinion. Panthers in the M10. And second M10 almost done for Camus. Happening about here. And there we go. 
Second M10 ready here for Camus and the British Empire. We're losing a capture point. Tank ready and white. Brav grenades off here for the smoke. Lots of smoke being deployed in fact overall here, lining up perhaps for a big assault. I'm not entirely sure who's laying down the smoke here. It looks like to be both the British and the Germans like smoking across the entire centre of the map here. Got to be confusing for both sides. All right, smoke screens ahead. Wait, isn't it supposed to stop here? Oh no! North Air Panzer was back here with the M10 in the center. Going to right here with the assault section and the smoke can here ending up aiding Camus more than aided Song of Single Doge. In the south here, we got another massive clash here. Caught in a pretty bad spot here in the in the very dense quarters here. The Rangers are making great headway here versus Tomcat's forces. So basically scattered out. There we got grenades. Not enough to support. We got the Panther for the Song of Single Doge. Thumbs up. He's not just trying to solve the Tiger Tank here. And the assault here for the Americans wears off. Strength to mind that loses Bobby, Joey, and Bobby Joey. Of North here, Pioneers pushing forward. Subs holding up here. M10 on the move there for Camus. But again, they're kind of lacking targets. Of course, the Panther 4 will present a big target for them. And we got Vic here with a Sherman. Should add the Bulls of Blade. Yes, indeed. Thumbs up. More smoke in the center. This time it's white phosphorus from the assault sections. Straight to the pack forward here with the M10s. But the pack misses. Here? Oh, apparently not. And he's arriving. Actually, probably turning around here. And Panther passing in here. Almost half fell in the south front because he's got two fire now on the car point here, looking to shatter the way through the German car point here. Meanwhile, here breaching through the head the fences, going straight for the German troops and crashing half an Orbison squad here. Vic is barreling his way through here. The front line here of the second Panzer Division's third Panzer Gun the Company slaughtering them. Up north here, the push with the Panther 4 here going for the M10 backed up entry mines that are causing significant casualties. And we got sandbags being laid down. They're not finished. Not sure should have never our way though. The M10 is dead. Good kill there for the Germans. Mortifying the pack 40. Panther for training probably got the Panzer Team 40, but we'll have to retreat in the face of so many assault sections. We got even more smoke. So much smoke, honestly. Meanwhile, we got another M10 here for Camus. We got the Panthers well there for Tomcat. Fuel cash to knock out here by those dust of the Americans. Swing here the Sherman. The rigorous and violent intent. Up north here, we got the Panthers, this assault section crushing the Samex there. Almost got another M10 ready here for Camus and the British Empire. He really, I think, should consider some additional armor. Besides M10s. Quick backing off here. We got the Scott there for Vic. No surprise that the Scott is a very popular in particular the 2v2 metagame. But typically, it's more heavily seen with airborne builds. Back here for the German bases. Nothing further transpiring. We got the light infra gun here for Tomcat. Finally, getting some material of his own. Building there finally collapsed. Got some S mines on here for Song of Single Doge. North here, the M10s are lining up for something. Got two spin conversion for both Camus and for Vic. South here, State Advance, they're crushing the fences entirely. Behold, we are destroying these fences. Defenses? Not Sir Fences. Defenses? Sir Fences! My God, don't you speak German, Friedrich? The center of their range, assault section will be back with the DC. We definitely were not in a condition to keep it up here. Trees also being sent popping into the skies there. More smoke being deployed. I think it's by the British this time around. Yeah, I think that was the British mortar smoke there. And we got smoke in the center as well here. This time from the assault section. It's like a lot of smoke going on here, and particularly a lot of coming. That was coming from Camus. I mean, thumbs up to Camus. Thumbs up. He really understands the power of smoke. It's a really powerful skill to have, honestly. More fire here on the Germans. Clashing here around the center. We got the Panther Wolf. We're going to M10 races forward there. Until he called in. And there goes. going to crush the infantry. That's probably why Camus went first. Because the M10s are quite good at crushing infantry. They used to be even better. But they're still quite good at it. Kind of quick with the game there. You go one M10 knocked out. Great kill here. 
for the Germans, of course, not that. Some loss there. We got the champ pushing in, and we got a full route here from Tomcat. Cleaning Song, a single douche for now to hold the front line there. More or less, his pencil's back about to get knocked out here. Tomcat was able to see the Panda 4, but I think Song of Single Doors there. Well, he does get the M10, will lose the Panda 4 most likely, unless he gets supremely lucky, which could happen, but most likely will not. Joe Mortar finally could try to pull smoke here to cover the Panda 4's retreat. That's going to be quite tough again, but it's too late, anyways. The Sappers could out and enter tank grenade. Germs managed to secure both fuel points, that's quite helpful for them. Let's see what the Germans are planning next. I mean, theoretically, Tomcat, oh, he's going for Mechanized Range. I mean, he's going to probably try and stall for the King Tiger here. I'm going for the Tiger 1. As for Song of Single Doge, yeah. He's not going for an additional armor, so my I, my suspicion here is he's going to be stalling for a Tiger tank. I mean, they're both going to be stalling for the big calling tanks roughly at the same time, which is typically what I advise against in a 2v2 match. Like, one of them doing it, sure, not a huge fan of it, but typically that means the other player's going to like, you know, push harder on the medium armor to ensure the allies, shall say, don't get too much of an advantage of you just putting all your resources and hope for the big tank. So, I think both of them doing it at the same time, I think, is a bit risky. Let me see how it works out now. North here, Camus there, finding to hold the front line against those dastly Germans. It's Germans keep up their attacks. We've got more puns going to be out here for Songs in the Georgia. He's closing that Tiger tank. They, of course, still need to take up. Still with the current state of income, you could probably call him a Tiger tank roughly in two minutes or so. Roughly. Give or take. Give or take. The team of the Finn Fandam victory points while it's pretty close between the two sides. The four combatants up north here, Salt Lake can push back. More smoke here being deployed. Just so much smoke across the entire bloody map. Enemy causing trouble, trying to take one of our points. Panther moving forwards. And the center they're going to use at it, but they're being suppressed. We've got two machine guns about here for the Camus now. And he's being mauled here, point blank range. Definitely not something you get stuck in. Bit of pressure up north. He's going to try and make another push for the northern field. But could also rush the mortar, perhaps. Not so sure Camus keeps having the mortar a lot there. That feels a bit risky, to be honest. Like, he's already lost one mortar to something like that. So, he probably should be a bit more careful. But you got another salt section of Camus and the British Empire down to just one M10. He's going for. Yup, he's going for hammer tactics by playing some comets next. I think that's a good idea. Meanwhile, we've got the M10s on the move here. We're rolling ahead for the British Empire. More to their gaining. Vetsni free here for Song of Single Deutsch and for Deutschland. I think yeah, he is finally taking up now. Going for that tier 4. And then stalling for that Tiger Tank. The also got Song of Single Deutsch's Panther is all equipped with Panther Shreks. Alright. I mean, a map like this, you can certainly see it making sense. There's a lot of sharp corners that can be at times difficult to make them full use of the Pack 40, particularly the Germans. The Panther teams, obviously, while they don't have the range, the sort of effective range, they do, of course, have more mobility and, of course, first damage to compensate. So, we'll have to see how this exactly works out there for some of the single duel here versus the Allies. Meanwhile, in the Southie, we got Vic pushing forwards here. Blasting through Tomcat's lines once more as support weapons there being left in the dirt. And far up north, the Song of Single Doge making a push from northern field point there. Very close to that Tiger tank, very close. Meanwhile, Tomcat is there going to be some time away there from the Kurdish Tiger. But there you go. 24 minute mark here, Song of Single Doge summons the mighty Tiger 1. And then we got some pounds that are being mauled. Here by the assault section, complete ripping apart of the Sten guns and Thompsons. We'll have to see, of course, how the Allies respond to the rival, respond to the rival Tiger tank. More support has been cleared out again here as the Allies keep up some pretty unrelenting assaults. The Tiger tank is almost there at the front line. The assault section pouring through the smoke here. We got this air support pulled in on the calf point here. They're right next to the scrap hunt pools can start shooting things that may not be as effective as Camus had hoped for. We'll have to see. There's still a lot of smoke though. 
Lions gun cleared out. Then they go right into the trap. Hunter quarters. Titan rushing forwards here. It's utter pandemonium here on the German side. Car point. Their troops are being routed. As artillery rains down as well. Titan plays down to half health almost instantly. In fact, it's down to like next to no health already. Like it's barely been on the battlefield for like a minute. And most of that was spent traveling. Bunker down as well here. Got those Hawker Typhoons are trying to knock out there. Song a single delicious Tiger tank. But he narrowly escapes with a really close call, a really close call. Absolutely close call there. And more bombs here in this case. He's actually been popping gammon bombs. But the puddles did a lot of damage to the Tiger tank. Almost got the boat headquarters. Aircraft shot out of the sky. See? That was really intense there. I'm not entirely sure who won more on that. The allies of the Germans, like the allies did a lot of damage, but they gained no ground for it. And crucially, the Germans had both fuel points, so I'm not entirely sure that was as great as the allies were likely to have been. And lost an M10 here to the Panzerjägers. Thumbs up to Song of Single Dodger there. Might lose the assault section as well. Got a fresh push here on the car point again. Well, again, most of the map remains squarely German. I kind of but feel the Allies might be getting a bit of a tunnel from here as the Germans at the moment, which is great for the Germans if they can survive it. Because that means the Allies are going to just, like, bleed themselves out quite profusely. You can see Camus with another M10. Again, the question is, was he actually planning for the combat or not? But if he was, I think that plan has been scrapped. It could also be, and he just went for it simply for the gammon bombs just to give his assault section basically access to saddle charges. 10 almost under for Camus. As for Vic, they got the Sherman, the Jackson, the half track and the Scott. And a bunch of infantry here. But Vic's going to have to do a lot for camp because right now Camus took some intense loss during that attack there, ultimately. As for Tomcat, he's in decent condition, but the strongest single door stiffness, the one that's looking a bit stronger. His tag tank, of course, is in the repairs, having suffered quite intensely. Wall salt section up for Camus. Air comes from Vic. Meanwhile, up north here, Camus is ceasing fire on some of that terrain here from the Germans. Destroying some semblance of orbit to allied supply lines. Yeah, I'm pretty much in the Tiger tank. It's on the fuel pool to the allies. Meanwhile, I think Tom Kate yep, is pretty much still bound here for the King Tiger. But he's not too far away from now. Roughly a minute and a half, give or take a few moments. Up north, he can use Panzer Move forward here. Yep, 270 to 290. Got the M10 rushing forward here. Fighting here from Northern Victory Point between Camus and Song of Single Dorship. Mortified continues to be very much a constant companion here for these Northern battles between Camus and Song of Single Dorsh. And there your M10 goes for some more crashes there. Tiger Tank on the move there. Panzer Sestura further down here. Meanwhile, we got a fresh push here by Tomcat. As he is moments away from the King Tiger. North Tiger is striking at the assault signal flank of the M10. Punching through the side armor of the Tiger tank. And from the M10 up in the Panda 4. Of Jackson acting on M10 M36. Got the Bulldogs on the ring forts here, straight up the cannon efforts. Whoops. Deploying white phosphorus as well there. Fiendish, but effective. Tom can't watch before the treat here. Moments again away from that King Tiger. We're talking mere seconds now. At this point, the Germans, of course, have two heavy tanks in the field the Tiger 1 and, of course, the Tiger 2. And there you go. Tomcat can't call it in. So that is a lot of German heavy armor here to clash with the Allies. Tiger and them being repaired. Koenig's Tiger there. Fit for the front line, I imagine we'll see the Panzer Commander. Still find the Schwer Panzer Quarters. Further north, here, bit of maneuvering. We've also got munitions cash up for Camus, probably to assist him with more strafing supports. Got the Panzer pushing forward, got a Panzer on there for Song of Single Dorsia to assist this Tiger tank. Not a bad idea, though. I think some Stukes will be a good addition. 
Tickle of Camus starts churning out a lot of intense big here by this floating a lot of resources at the moment. Golding in a Calliope for some more rocket artillery. Koenig Seeker has almost got the Panzer Commander ready. We got 252 is 270. Still fairly close in terms of victory points. Still fairly close. Die tanks like Morpheus is six kills for the Fatherland. Hauptmann Wilhelm Wolf going straight here for the Allies. His target tank. Fat Helmut. I didn't call it a target tank, Fat Helmut. Because I think it sounds cool. Of North Eap, gun is right next to the victory point. Hey, when that happens, like, going to the point, for some reason, they just stand next to it. Been there a lot of times. Me and my target tank people here. And we got tactical movement for Song Sickle Dorsey on his Panzer team there. Sprinting with Strex. Jackson there suffering himself from the 88 mil rockets. Panther wouldn't push back. Pretty aggressive push. Kind of followed up here for Tomcat. He could have maybe supported with his team with some smoke there. Panther 4 knocked out. Target tank with a damage engine and veterans who won. Further up north here, the Gunners remain forgotten and kind of wet there. So standing out in that little puddle of water. King Tiger falling back. Tiger Tank as well here. Tiger Tank back down to less than half health feet. Also, we see their top catcher to follow up here again. So, rule seems like the Germans tried to coordinate their attack, but the coordination was a bit off here, resulting in the Allies able to push back the Germans more piecemeal. Jackson pushing forward with h wrap rounds. We've got air support called in as well here on the Germans. King Target has five kills now. Need to activate that Shreya Plunder Coolers anti aircraft ability Schnell. Go. Got the Sherman move here for Vic again. Ace level, 24 kills. We got 250 to 270. Victory punch remaining fairly stable here between the two sides. Fairly stable further up north. We got the Guinness Fire Ground the Pump. Got a biggest machine in there unloading everything they got at the Germans. Aircrafts, I think, being shot out of the skies here, but there's still plenty to go. Tight tank repaired here. King Tide calls also needs some repairs here. And the M10 braves the German car point here, which at this point has been largely turned into a moon cratered landscape. We got more pantomimes when they hit the song on a single door shoot. Those things took it off to good addition here. Camus with another M10. Vic, well, well, who knows what? He's going for another anti tank in here. There you go. Third Panther team here ready for song a single Deutsch and for Deutschland. The Bad Laden and the Bad Assault section blowing apart Lewis and Roberts. Almost got the second M10 ready there for Camus. Machine enough to defend here the northern side of the map with a quite exposed angle there. The target tank's ready to assist, I suppose. In the south, Tomcat watch make moves for the southern field. We've got flares down as well here. I think he's actually deployed them. Thumbs up then to. Tomcat. Bit of an overlooked ability. Got machine guns. Oh, and tanks and more actually abandoned here. In the center. And second M10 is ready. Wolf on him as the captain. Ranger pushing forward against the Panzer for Salida. Of North here. Tiger tank tears into the assault section. No mercy here from Song of Single Dorsche. No. Quarter given. As the Allies are being ripped apart, they're further north point and grab back here with the British Empire once more. Almost got wiped here in the assault section. Camus casualties continue to pile up. He's going for another M10. And we got the Panzer Trick team here ready to support the Tiger tank there. Did they combine arms bonus? South here, Panther 4 and King Tiger on the red here, seven kills. Back for the Allies, nothing further transpiring. Oh, Germans, I mean, nothing further transpiring as of yet. I still think Song Song Dorsche benefit a lot from a Tiger tank. He's going for more Panzer Shreks, by the way. The yeah, Astutes, if that says that would be great. So you know, there's going to be a lot of M10s, of course, the Panzer Shreks could, of course, be helpful. There you go, hard push for the Tiger tank. Let's here. We got the built Panzer Grenadiers popping into the building here. Could take out the Jackson here if he's not careful. Almost got it. But not quite. Tiger tank knocked out. There we go. Camus came swinging from a blind angle here, taking out the Tiger. A good combined attack here by Camus and Vic. 
Leaning Song in single duel. She now short one tiger tank. In fact, he's got no armor left. Leaning just Tomcat here with a king tiger and the panther ball, which is close to actually three, though. Sherman ready to go. Got the M10s falling back here. So we got 250 and 30. Looking a bit rougher now for the Germans, but can the Allies exploit this opening by the distraction of the Tiger tank? We got Tom Kennedy for support for this King Tiger. Perhaps looking to offset his teammates' losses, hoping to catch the Allies off guard. Perhaps not. We'll have to try and figure it out, I suppose. There you go. Great hit there, wiping out the anti tank. Kaliber Barrage, so in the midst of Tom Cat's assault, forcing him to disengage. His men are being ripped to shreds in a torn of rockets. In the west, the upon being grabbed again. We got the M10 swing forward, he's going to threaten to crash. Tomcat's infantry now, and also I think take out the King Tiger. Panther backing off here. Swinging it hard here for the British Empire, King George V. And rushing straight here for the King Tiger. In the center, Gunnerius, Panzer Gunnerius, all charging forwards here. Song of Single Bullshit launches a furious counterattack here for Deutschland. Only to his men being met with furious fire from the Americans and ripped apart. The Panzer continue here with a large amount of Panzer using tactical support. There goes Scott and M10, got a risk crushing them all. The assault did not go well of the Song of Single Bullshit. Not well at all. Those M10s are absolute monsters. I still think a few tanks as well for Camus would have got these empty short infinite going for another M10 here. Don't worry, chaps, it's like that Achilles heel. We'll be invincible. No, no, that's not what Achilles heel meant, Lieutenant. It didn't. Oh, I'm sure you're wrong. Got the Jacks moving in, the M10s diving in there against the Panther 4 and everything else. Rockets flying, shots flying there, Panther 4 but getting knocked out. There you go, Panther 4 kaput. King Tiger down to half health, the M10s keep blazing away there with their 3 inch gun shots. Jackson rushing in as well here, it's complete carnage, utter pandemonium. King Tiger gets one in the M10, in fact, band, but there you go, the King Tiger is down. And so for the loss of a single M10, Camus just knocked out the King Tiger and the Panther 4. Absolutely brutal there. Of course, they did hand an M10 here to the Germans, so I guess this is all bad for the Germans, but still, I think overall the Allies came ahead on that one. Came fair well ahead. We got 240 feet on 88. The Allies control victory points. The German army needs to reorganize and counterattack here swiftly. Song of Single Doors has been stalling for a second. Tiger tank here. Definitely a bit ambitious under the current circumstances. And, you know, the fact that, you know, Camus has a lot of M10s and we'll keep going for a lot of M10s. They're quite good against single big targets. So kind of both have a song of single doors to go for another Tiger tank. Scott Fung with the advancing German troops. North you got the M10 going for the punching of the northern victory point. That's the second Tiger tank here for the Germans. We'll have to see what Tomcat goes for next. Will he try and stall for a King Tiger again? I don't know. But at least he's got an M10 now. North here we got the M10. The range a lot of Panzer and the Tiger tank. And there you go. Gets. But even then it still gets to crush several German Panzer Jägers. Song of Single Doors. You probably should start playing up just a bit more to make it harder for the M10s to crash them. Obviously not on a line. You know, just further apart from each other. Anyways, Pioneers right here, so we've got the Allies pushing forward, see M10s going from north here, Panzer can be pushed back as well here. Song Single Door should notice to be a bit more careful this time around with Camus's pretty wide flanks here. It's quite good at it, obviously. We also got some h rounds being popped here. This time though, Camus might be able to to catch the German issues cash here. German Dive respond here with the Type Tank backed up by the captured M10. Almost got one of Camus's M10s here. In fact, those are his remaining M10s. There's a good chance of destroying them. He got their flanking speed from Tomcat's M10, knocking out Camus's most weapon. There you go. Jackson, the scene got the pen for the round. He can support the Titan alongside the M10. Jackson down to less than half health. He almost got it, but not quite. Camus flanking in, trying to take out that captured M10 at least. Didn't quite pull it off here. 
Tiger Tank great to go for great hit here. Pantrex, there we go. And Camus is going to lose his M10 to the German M10. Schoen about to get knocked out as well. The heavy ger armored losses from the Allies to the Germans now. They might have gone a bit overconfident. The Germans were able to exploit that quite well. Suddenly, Camus has no tank destroyers left, barely an infantry. And Vicar sent us off some losses. He's got like a massive resource, like just, you know, hump. Part because he's actually like, this is like him actually going on pop I think, for quite some time here. I feel like Vic could perhaps stand to be a bit more aggressive and take some more losses, but oh well. Germans still remain in the top position. Got 240 fuse, 84. Another push of Vic on the carve point. German army down repairs. We got another pan for the Tomcat. Let me see what song single doors go for next. And the casualties just keep piling up on both sides. We got 240 fuse, 75. The Germans are quickly running out a rope to turn this match around with. And need to do something. Very drastic soon if they don't want to risk losing the match. Scott Fung into the advancing gun of the EC under Song of Single Dorsch's stoic German command. In the center, they plant some forts under cover smoke here. Good work there by Tom Katz, for his teammate. Thumbs up. Northy Pompey sees the assault section. Another Jackson there for Vic. Another M10 for Camus. He's just trying them out here. Capture point. There we go. Now the tax movement here from Song of Single Dorsha. He believes in the Blitzkrieg. There we go. Going straight for the tank destroyers here with this wall of rocket fire. There we go. Almost got it. A fierce volley of rocket death there. Could take out the second one. Got the Scott Fung here. Got troops nearby as well. He going to go for the Scott, which nearly managed to deploy smoke here. Might try and take out some of those M10s. Other force pulling now here. And there we go. M10 getting met with a volley of rocket fires. Well, they're almost taking that entirely here. So on the single door, she is on a Panzer Shrek rampage. Almost going to wipe in the assault section. The Panzer, you can see, could finish off with the Sturm Gewehrs making the rockets. That's going to be quite blow. There's Camus in there. Go. Lost another unit. Camus is down to struggle a lot here. Vic needs to, you know, pick up the pace a bit. Perhaps he. M10 falling back here. Rocket fire in the center for the Calliope. He rips apart Tomcat's forces. Vic really needs to step up here. He's leaving, I think, too much of the fighting here to Camus. And while, of course, that means he's made a bit of massive resource reserve, like at some point, you know, that's not going to help him much. Ground back in Northern Victor. We've got 54 now. It's 214. The Germans control with the victory points. They're back to bleeding out the Allies. But that's that one mistake. He could allow the Allies to turn the game around. We've got a Stug there for Song and Doge. Two thumbs up. I mean, against all these M10s, he definitely wants more firepower. He may also want to lay down some mines, honestly. Like, some telemines could make it very difficult for, like, just Camus to come swinging up all these M10s. And for that matter, Vix Jacksons as well. But it's quite clear the M10s being used a lot more aggressively than the M36 Jacksons. And we go, we do, in fact, get telemines here for Song Single Doge. Thumbs up as well. So that. M10 push back there. The German M10. Got the Panzer in the East of there. Got, got wiped out by the own Panzer IV. Youch. That's a bit embarrassing. You know, Camus with more assault section. Got the M36 action taking out here. Tomcat's Panzer IV. And Vic is on the offense here for America, Freedom, Democracy. We got the Song Single Door stretching in his Panzer Team So says his teammate here as the M10 tank destroyer gets knocked out by the Americans. Some rockets there, but not enough to finish off that. M36 quite remotely. Titan at the center here for Song Single Doge. Sorry about that. Nice slip a bit there. And there you go. Another tactical move here from Song and Single Doge. Well, tactical move, but you know. Might be a bit uh, of an embellishment there. But that's what the ability is called. Panzer is there quickly backing off here, though. Panzer bombing and Orbison supporting as well here. Tomcat is a bit short in front of the Tiger Tank. Other Panther Force train to the Vickers Machine Gun. Need to stop that. We got rocket fire from the Calliope. Just everything is exploding here. Everything is dying. And Vix there is just emptying out those vehicles. He's going to call in more armor now. Another Calliope. What is Vix scheming here? So far, the answer seems to be absolute bugger all. Okay, there we go. Calling in more Scots here. 
we got Camus of the Zem Tension, we got the 134 versus 54 in the south point here. We got the info back up the Sturm Pioneer as the big one for once in the salt. We got cover to cover here. We got the upside on the spot here. Halton the Amerikanen with a Gebalde Ladnung. And the center there, Camus pushes forward for the British Empire. And we got rocket strikes here against some of the single bullshit. The RAF are quite busy today. Meanwhile, the Luftwaffe is having a nice snack and nap day, it seems. M10s away there for Camus. A third one. So many M10 tank destroyers. M36 going straight here for the Panda 4. Dashing push here by Vic. Panda 4 gaining by T2. Got the M10 rushing in as well here. Panda 4 knocked out quite a bit to Tomcat. Honestly, might have benefited from a Yak Panzer. Honestly, maybe it's not like him between all these Panda 4s. Is he going to go for a King Tiger or a Tiger 1 here? I don't know. Meanwhile, Got Camus there pushing forwards. We got a response here with the Panzer tickets again here from Song of Single Dorsia. Oswind for Song of Single Dorsia is an interesting pick here. Obviously, there's the air support I imagine. I think he just goes for more Stooms, maybe. But oh well. Kalabi Bauer here trying to snuff out here Song of Single Dorsia's infantry. And there you go. Oswind has arrived. The Kendall Ground here with the M10s. The Strap Hunting Quarters is kaput, leaving Tom Catherine now more or less forced to have to give the King Tiger. And we got the Titan move the Stug as well here. We got 104 versus 54. The match continues to be absolutely brutal and unrelenting. Ooh, just like this heat. Anyways, in the center, Stug there holding the front line, backed up with the gun. The ESC artillery firing back and forth here. At some point, Song Singh Dorsha did lose the motor and didn't bother the crew again. Titan one from the scene here. Eight kills, plus 22 here. Cover to cover again here from Vic. Got the M1024 train to the Panzer Trek here. Stuke Tank Tank backing off to deal with that. Panzer of course, being retreated here, though the M10s are moving about as much as possible. The cheeky bastards. There you go. Got one of the M10s here. Once more, Camus finds himself staying at utter ruination as his tank destroyers come past. We got 89 versus 54 here. Both sides down to less than 100 victory points. But the Germans are definitely closer to total defeat that way. Jackson there, heavily damaged, M10 backing off here, close to Vessel 2, and there you go, Flak Panzer knocked out. We got 89 versus 54 still. Tomcat with a fresh assault here, with assault rifles ripping through Vic's forces. Grenades off here. North there looks like Camus is planning another aggressive flank assault going for Northern Victory Point. Song and the Bush will need to contact swiftly. Tomcat here fighting fiercely for the southern victory point. And more salt section there for Camus. E42, they're slowly approaching the ace of their gun is rushing in here. 82 versus 54. Tomcat is getting close to that King Tiger. He's getting close. Meanwhile, Panzergundia, Gunny is rushing for the center victory point. Stu with Panzer is ready to reserve here as well. White phosphorus of grenade in the center of the troops there. Tight tunnel backing up. We got 77 versus 54. Vic really, I think, needs to, like, you know, pull up his sleeves and get a bit more aggressive. Emote Tomcat with his second King Tiger. Stukes and Panzer on the move here. Going straight for the tank destroyers and a hailstorm of fire and rockets. Need to go back that Stu pretty quickly. He could go for another Stu. I think the good thing is our rocket fire is once more pummeling the carve point here. More units being destroyed than a hailstorm of explosive death. Got 57 versus 54. Really back to being close and there you go. Panzer get one of the M10s. Camus once more is down to like next to nothing and Vic just continues to suffer from an absolute overflow there. He's starting to just churn out more and more Scots. He probably should just be starting to churn out more and more Shermans. Song of Single Deutsche with another tactical movement here. Once more brushing against Panzer here. 
Could take out the Sherman here. Yep, got the climb. People has to retreat. Has to retreat. And a bang, oh, a grenade attempt in the retreat. Completely whips on that one. We got 52 versus 54. Captain in the center there, desperately trying to get back the victory point from the Germans, but he is instead wiped out entirely. Setting streak almost under for Song single doors yet. Rangers rushing forwards. Matches at this point just utter carnage, sheer brutality, and just raw violence being unleashed on both sides. Most semblance of tactics has just vanished beneath a sea of cruelty and barbaric assaults. Got 47 versus 54. Tide tank near ace level. And Vic's just churning up more and more Scots. Got the northern point. We got finding positions. He's digging in hard as he can. Another clap here out the Vic and the Americans. But very short in front line units. Like, in the sense, it's like he's expecting Camus to do all the heavy lifting still. And it's probably Camus, a uh, victim, he's like, he can pull up his sleeves and he start doing some of the dirty work. He got 30 centimeters, 54. Northeast Duke being assailed by the M10s. Other Duke near Barbie need to be careful here. Shots going to need to reinforce this position rapidly. The M10s raising force, so we do, of course, have the telemines here. Pansy and Rob here, Tiger Tank moving in as well. Stuke almost knocked out. There you go. Both Jacksons hit the same mine, he's caught in the same blast there. Allowing both of them to be knocked out. There's a huge blow here to the Allies. Like, both the Jackson are just pretty much toast. And with that, Vic and Camus surrender. And with that, this match is over. Good lord, that was absolute brutality there. Good golly, Ms. Molly. I think if Camus had, you know, gone for some actual tanks, maybe use some more smoke, and I think at times perhaps been a little less aggressive at the right times. And I think a big also expanded resources was a bit more efficient, also been more active at times. I think this match could have been much more in, in the way of the others. But closer times, but again, I think the way they divided the work rather meant it wasn't going to work. Whereas I think Song, Single Dorsey, and Tomcat had a more equal work division and workload in terms of like who had to do the attacking. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed this match. You learned something from it. If you did, subscribe, like, share, comment. And again, because they're donating or Patreon, Patreon support the Providing Cast, I'm off for now. We'll be back tomorrow. Cheers, everyone.